Human Connectome Project is a nationwide project that seeks to map how nerves are connected in the human brain and in the periphery. The National Institutes of Health is driving the Human Connectome Project. Dr. Toga and Thompson here at USC at the Stevens Neuroimaging and Informatics Institute have been involved in it from the beginning and have pioneered some of the databasing procedures that we'll use in our project. One of the things that we're very fortunate to have is our connection with the researchers at the Mark and Mary Stevens Imaging and, Neuro and Informatics Institute, which really puts us on the map. We're only one of four institutions in the country that are collaborating as part of the Human Connectome Project. What we're doing here at USC is specifically directed at how the brain responds to low vision and blindness. We're looking at different visual disorders, um, retinal conditions like macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, various optic nerve disorders like those that have tumors that compress their optic nerves, or people that have lost vision due to optic nerve disease due to things like optic neuritis, which is connected to multiple sclerosis. The research is a four-year project. We've started recruiting patients to undergo these scans. And what's interesting about this project and unique in the Human Connectome Project is we're not only doing brain scans, but we're doing eye scans. That's our specialty here at the USC Eye Institute. We really don't know what happens inside the brain. We can see what happens in the retina or the optic nerve, but what happens further, what we call the central visual pathways, what's actually in the brain, because much of our vision is processed in the brain, we have no real idea structurally or functionally what's happening behind that, the retina or optic nerve. And now with the basis of what the Human Connectome Project has given us, we have this structural mapping that's there. Brain mapping in individuals with low vision and blindness will give us a baseline. We'll know how their brain responds to this loss of vision, whether it's over time, whether it's a regional loss of vision, they, for example, if they can't see in their periphery, or if it's a sudden loss of vision in some part of their visual field. We'll see how their brain responds and is affected by that. So when we come back with site recovery treatments, such as the Argus, or the stem cell treatment for dry AMD, we can then see how the brain begins to respond again to this restored vision. The research is both about personalized medicine and about big data. We want to acquire this database so that we can see what the bell curve is, what are, where are the norms, what are the outliers. And then it becomes personalized when we can take the patient who is then getting the therapy, we can possibly do a brain scan, do some brain mapping on that patient and see where they lie within that database that we've acquired to see if they should respond well to this treatment or if we can expect maybe a few more challenges with this patient and then we can uh, personalize their treatment based on that. If we can d determine differences at an early level in the brain, we can maybe have treatments that are earlier, on, are earlier on in the management of these patients and see how we can modify the course going forward. In this project, we'll then correlate that information with the structural and functional Im information we can get through brain mapping where we have ex other expertise at USC that allows us to do that. So it's really a nice marriage of two strengths of USC ophthalmology and brain mapping that allow us to uh, conduct this project.